And we begin tonight at 6 with a father taking on some members of the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians and Baptist Hospital over the alleged kidnapping of his newborn baby. And two days after the girl's birth, you may remember, tribal police entered the hospital, which is outside the tribe's reservation in the Everglades, and took the baby from her parents. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live at the courthouse in downtown Miami with details on the complaint. Joan. Well, this case is so unique, it's no wonder it is ending up here in civil court. But the parents are so outraged about what happened, they are hoping it eventually also goes to criminal court. Barely a month old, Ingrid Johnson is at the center of a complex legal battle. It's like waking up from, from a nightmare um, and then still, you know, wondering if something like this could happen again. Ingrid's father, Justin Johnson, is suing several members of the Miccosukee Tribe of Indians and Baptist Hospital to make sure it doesn't. I know he's a you know great father, especially with Ingrid. He's gone you know above and beyond in helping me cope in this situation. Last month, just after Rebecca Sanders, who is a member of the tribe, gave birth to Ingrid, Miccosukee police came to the hospital and took the child, saying they had a court order. They claim that Johnson is abusive. It's a false allegation. In the lawsuit filing, they claim Miccosukee police told Rebecca Sanders, "This is not your baby anymore." Their attorneys claim that the tribe had no jurisdiction over Ingrid. The hospital has a duty to protect their patients. We know that the Miccosukee police officer came in and lied when he said, I have a federal order. Baptist said in response, we feel for everyone involved in this challenging circumstance. It's our policy to be in compliance with all applicable laws, rules, and regulations, and to work in accordance with the highest ethical and moral standards. We are unable to comment on the specifics of pending litigation. I'm trying to be a team through this because I can't get through it myself. The couple's attorneys also want members of the tribe to be charged with armed kidnapping. The state attorney's office said we are involved in reviewing this entire matter to see if any of Florida's criminal statutes were violated. My ultimate goal in this situation is to um, get my other two children back. And, you know, my main concern is, you know, their well being and their education. And that's what um, I'm, you know, trying to handle right now. And and what is she referring to is her two other children she had uh, with the prior marriage. Those two children are currently residing with her mother, and that is another long legal battle going on in Broward County. They say it's going to be some time before the family is totally reunited. In Miami tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.